and welcome or welcome back it's finally time for me to also watch this trailer and i think that pretty much everyone on the internet and their dog has seen the new final fantasy 16 trailer i've been dying to do it but i just couldn't find the time to you know to sit down and do it like this and i wanted to share it with you guys so without further ado let's let's go watch it i'm excited It has been 1,500 years since the fall of our forebears. Oh, wow. And Valisthea has been slowly dying. I'm not sure if this is the actual outdoors, like the, the, the in-game footage. I really hope so. I'm going to try not to interrupt the trailer too much so that we can enjoy it together. And I'll comment on it uh, after I'm done watching. Ever since. Suck this place dry. And in no trees, no birds, and no magic. The graphics. Darkness spreads as day gives way to twilight. The mother's flame now all but a flicker. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. But who shall claim their fading light? The Grand Duchy of Rosaria, bastion of tradition. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. The Holy Empire of San Breck, where ambition is divine. Beautiful. The Imperial Banner shall fly over every city in storm. All shall bow before their emperor. The Dalmechian Republic, whose... Okay, so what, what I'm noticing here is that classic, not just Square Enix premise, but the overall premise of RPGs where you will normally have like three kingdoms or three city-states that are, are fighting for prevalence. Right now I'm actually going through a triangle strategy and I it, it, like this, this whole setup is somewhat reminiscent of how they, they set up the story there with the, with the city-states. This looks so good. Fortunes shift with the desert sands. And what of our wise rulers, goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap? The Iron Kingdom, forged in faith and fear. Their souls were sullied with this stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. Or the Kingdom of Wulud, indomitable in its isolation. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals. From a single spark, will the land ignite. In the year 860, the Imperial Army will march upon Rosaria. Oh my god! And from the slaughter shall a new shadow rise. Oh my god! his father right to fall upon the dominance painting their destinies black as night wow our ability to summon beasts of great might should command respect but instead has left us outcasts and so i became their puppet makes them think they have the right to use us, to leave us to die when our bodies are spent. I'll crush him! Flay him! The music? <laughs> Who 
to me. Very well. Come. Okay. Uh, I I know I said that I wouldn't stop too much, but uh, what I really want to comment on is how good, uh, how good of a job they did at at making sure that when when a piece of a cutscene is voice acted, that the lips move exactly the way the 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 voice is. And some games actually have huge flaws when it comes to that. Some lips don't even move. Some lips just kind of, you know, open and close. But I've been noticing even from this trailer that they did such a good job at syncing those two. It's amazing. It is Look. you who shall bow to me. Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. Reckoning is upon you. A war of the icons. Wow. Honestly, summer of 2023 can't come soon enough, and I have a lot of games that I've been wanting to, to go through before I start with this one, but I'm still <laughs> I'm still looking forward to it and still hyped about it as if it's like the first game that I'm gonna play next year. The trailer looks so good and I'm glad that they they put in a little bit of gameplay, but honestly I would have loved to see more gameplay trailers because it feels like we only get like a few seconds of the actual gameplay preview every trailer the, the 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 story and you know the graphics and everything it looks amazing and i know that that is the focus of the of the trailers i, I would have just loved to see a little bit more of the combat i think uh, from what we've seen here this is the playstation version of the of the game and I don't know, like I would have, I would have liked personally as as a PC player to just see from time to time, just you know how those those buttons and everything, like how they would work, how they thought that they should work in in a in a PC environment. But that's neither here nor there. The trailer looks amazing, and I'm just so excited for this game. This game is going to be incredible, and I'm glad that we're finally getting lo like those tidbits of the story that will really help, I think, set it up before the, the game is launched. And I think by the time the game is launched, we're going to have a pretty good idea what the game is actually about. So I think at least when it comes to 16, they're doing a good job when it comes to marketing, which unfortunately isn't always the case. But I'm glad that this one doesn't look like it's 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 going to flop when it comes to the you know the whole marketing and advertisement and everything i think they're doing a wonderful job with, with trailers and i'm excited for the next one uh, if you happen to be new to the channel make sure to subscribe uh this is where i publish uh most of my variety content rpgs jrpgs and whatnot uh live streams shorts reactions to trailers and whatnot i also have my main channel mom's den where i do final fantasy 14 content so if you're into that you can find all the links down in the description and yeah that's pretty much it um see you in the next one bye